This video is an overview on how to play and score your Factile game. Factile is a Jeopardy style game. There are two key roles in Factile. The moderator, this person manages the gameplay, and the teams. There can be up to five teams in a game. If you have a pro subscription, you can have up to 25 teams. Each team can have as many team members as desired. On the My Games page, you'll see all of your games down here in this section. To launch one of your games, just press the play button that's under the game. On this screen here, if you have a pro subscription, you'll see all of these options for play. If you don't have a pro subscription, these options will just be grayed out. To continue opening your game, press the Play Now button. This will bring you to the page where you can select the number of teams that are playing in your session. Buzzer Mode. If you have a pro subscription, you can choose to play in buzzer mode. Buzzer Mode lets teams buzz in using a mobile device. They can use their phone, tablet, or computer. If you don't have a pro subscription, this option will just be grayed out, so go ahead and just press No to get to the next screen. On this screen here, you choose your team captains. Over here, you have the option to change the language of the team mascot names. You have English, French, German, and Spanish. Let's go ahead and change this to English, and now as you can see, all of the names are in English. To sort through the different options, you can use these arrows down here at the bottom. You can also use this Group By button here to look through the different mascot categories. There are several categories. There's a fruit category, vegetable themed mascots, safari animal themed mascots, arctic animal mascots, there's also sea creatures, and human avatars. This button up here, Auto Select, if you use this, the mascots will be automatically selected for you. So let's go ahead and choose two now. Let's pick one and two. When you're ready to start the game, press Start Game. This is your Factile board. You'll find the name of the game up here at the top, and then you'll also find your categories listed here. Down at the bottom, you'll find all of your teams. On this side here, you'll find the back button. You can use this if you want to exit the game. And to the side over here, if you want to make the game full screen mode, just click this button here and it'll expand. So, your fact tile board. Active tiles will have yellow numbers. When you were creating your game, if you didn't enter in some questions or answers for some tiles, they'll be grayed out when you play the game. In this board here, all of the tiles are active, which means they all have a question and answer in them. To start off, either you as the moderator or the teams can choose the first tile. Let's go ahead and choose Hemispheres and Directions for 100. I'm going to click on it and it opens up the question. What hemispheres is North America in? The moderator will monitor which team raises their hand first. You can allow anyone on the team to answer or you can elect a team leader to raise their hand, whichever you prefer. If you have a pro subscription and you're playing in buzzer mode, the team that buzzes in first will be shown on the screen. So that first team will have the opportunity to provide their answer. As the moderator, you determine whether the team answer is correct or incorrect. If it's correct, use this check mark here on the podium. If it's incorrect, use the X. If one team answers incorrectly, the question is open to the other teams to provide the correct answer. After one team provides the correct answer, or if all of the teams provide an incorrect answer, in which case as the moderator, you've clicked on the X mark on all team podiums. The game will advance to show the answer and adjust the team score based on the tile amount. To go back to the fact tile board, just press continue. Okay, let's open up another tile, click on it. There's the question. The first team to either raise their hand or to buzz in if they provide the correct answer, press the check mark. If it's incorrect, press the X. If it's incorrect, the other team has the option to answer the question.
If for some reason none of the teams are able to provide an answer, you can use the skip C button here on the side. What this will do is it'll skip scoring for this particular question and it'll allow you to show the answer, but without giving a score. There's the answer. However, none of the team scores have been adjusted. If you find at any time that you need to manually adjust a team score, just use the plus and minus sign on their podium. Once all of the tiles have been cleared, the game will advance into the final fact tile question. If for some reason you don't want to play all the tiles, or maybe you just don't have enough time, you can use this final fact tile button here. Click on this and it will skip the game into the final fact tile mode. In final fact tile, all teams will wager any amount from zero to the maximum points that a team has. So team one can wager anything from zero to 300, and team two can wager anything from zero to 100. If your teams are playing in buzzer mode, they can write in their own wagers from their own devices. So let's say team one wants to wager $50 and team two wants to wager 75. Once you've entered in valid wagers, this button will turn blue and it'll now say play now. When you're ready to show the last question, press play now. And this will display the final fact dial question. In Final Fact Dial, all of the teams will provide an answer. As the moderator, you determine if that answer is correct or incorrect. Click the appropriate button on the team podium. Let's say Team 1 has provided a correct answer, we'll give them a check. And Team 2 has also provided a correct answer. When you're ready to advance to the scores, press Continue. The team scores will automatically be adjusted and the winning team will be displayed. From here, you have the option to return to the My Games page by using the Go Home button or the Back button at the top, or you can show the scores. When you show the scores, you'll see the team name, the mascot or avatar, the amount of points that the team had before the final fact tile, how much they wagered, and how they ended the game. You can download this information as a CSV file. Just click on the button and the file will automatically download to your computer. You can do this to track the scores for just one game, or you can use it to track the progress of your teams over a long period of time, maybe over a semester or even over an entire school year. So that file will save to your computer. And when you're done, just press go home to return to the My Games page. Okay, so to do a quick recap, to launch a game, press play under the game that you want to play. On this screen here, go ahead and press play now. This will take you to the screen where you select how many teams are playing in the session. Go ahead and press no, unless you are playing in buzzer mode and you have a pro subscription. Choose your team captains. and then press Start Game. To start playing the game, click on a tile. The first team to either raise their hand or to buzz in will have the opportunity to provide an answer. If it's correct, press the check mark on the team podium. If it's incorrect, press the X. Once all the tiles have been cleared, or if you use this final fact tile button, you can advance the game into the final fact tile question. Enter in valid wagers for all teams, and then press this Play Now button. The final fact dial question will appear. As the moderator, you determine if the answer provided is correct or incorrect. Press Continue, and then the winner of the game will be revealed. You can review the scores by pressing Show Scores. You can download this information as a CSV file. When you're done, press close and go home to return to the My Games page. And that is how you play and score your Factile game.